What if you could journey to the most breathtaking places on Earth, where the pulse of the city meets the tranquility of nature? Imagine exploring hidden fjords, hiking up misty mountains, or wandering through ancient forests, all within reach of some of the world's most vibrant cities. Welcome to World in Days, where today, we're uncovering the top 12 cities across the continents that every nature lover must visit. These aren't just cities, they're gateways to the wild, where adventure and serenity are just a heartbeat away. Let's embark on this journey together and discover the places where nature and urban life coexist in perfect harmony. Tucked away on Japan's Kyushu Island, Nagasaki is a city that many overlook in favor of more famous destinations like Tokyo or Kyoto. But for those who venture here, Nagasaki offers a stunning blend of history and natural beauty. Imagine wandering through terraced rice fields, hiking lush green mountains, or exploring its tranquil coastlines. The best time to visit Nagasaki is during spring or autumn, when the weather is pleasant and the landscapes are at their most vibrant. Be sure to take a day trip to the nearby Goto Islands, a hidden gem of unspoiled beaches, clear waters, and rich biodiversity. It's a nature lover's paradise, far from the usual tourist trails. On the island of Borneo, the city of Kota Kainabalu offers a gateway to some of the most diverse and breathtaking natural landscapes in Asia. While often overshadowed by other Southeast Asian destinations, Kota Kainabalu is a hidden gem for nature enthusiasts. Picture yourself exploring the dense rainforests of Kainabalu National Park, home to the towering Mount Kainabalu, the highest peak in Southeast Asia, or perhaps diving into the crystal clear waters of Tunku Abdul Rahman Marine Park, where vibrant coral reefs and exotic marine life await. For an unforgettable experience, embark on a guided trek up Mount Kainabalu. The sunrise view from the summit, with the world spread out below you, is a reward that few have the chance to witness. Wellington, New Zealand's vibrant capital, is a city where nature is never far away. Spring, from September to November, is the best time to visit, offering mild weather and the blooming of wildflowers. Picture yourself hiking the rugged coastline or wandering through the lush hills that surround the city. And for a closer look at New Zealand's unique wildlife, visit Zealandia, an eco-sanctuary just minutes from the city centre, where nature and city life exist in perfect harmony. Wellington is known for its wind, so when you're exploring the outdoors, make sure to dress in layers to stay comfortable. Salzburg with its breathtaking views of the Alps, is a haven for those who love the outdoors. The best time to visit is during the summer months, from June to August, when the hills are alive with the sound of music and the landscape is perfect for hiking and cycling. Imagine exploring the Salzburg Lake District, where the crystal clear waters reflect the surrounding mountains, or taking a cable car up to the Untersberg mountain for panoramic views that stretch for miles. Salzburg is also famous for being the filming location of the classic movie The Sound of Music. You can even take a tour to see the iconic spots featured in the film. High in the Andes, Cusco serves as the gateway to some of the world's most iconic landscapes. The dry season, from May to September, is the ideal time to visit, offering clear skies and the best conditions for trekking. Envision yourself standing amidst the ruins of Machu Picchu, the early morning mist rising to reveal this ancient wonder. Before embarking on the Inca Trail, spend a few days acclimating in Cusco. Its vibrant streets and historic charm are the perfect prelude to your Andean adventure. To avoid altitude sickness, Take it slow when you first arrive in Cusco and consider drinking coca tea, a local remedy. Sydney's natural wonders extend far beyond its iconic opera house and harbour bridge. Spring, from September to November, is the perfect time to explore Sydney when the weather is pleasant and the gardens are in full bloom. 
Imagine yourself surfing the waves at Bondi Beach or taking a coastal walk with the Pacific Ocean at your side. Just outside the city, the Blue Mountains offer a retreat into rugged natural beauty, where you can hike through eucalyptus forests and discover hidden waterfalls. Sydney's Royal National Park is the second oldest national park in the world, established in 1879 just behind Yellowstone in the USA. Bergen, the gateway to Norway's majestic fjords, is at its best in the summer months of June through August. Imagine long days filled with the exploration of dramatic fjords, towering mountains, and vibrant cityscapes. Take the Flibbernan funicular to the top of Mount Flyer and let your eyes feast on the panoramic views of Bergen and the surrounding fjords. Whether you're hiking, sailing, or simply soaking in the natural beauty, Bergen offers a nature experience that's both serene and invigorating. Bergen is known as the City of Seven Mountains, and it's also one of the rainier cities in Europe, so don't forget your raincoat. Banff, nestled in the heart of the Canadian Rockies, is a dream destination for nature lovers. Whether you visit in the summer for hiking or in the winter for skiing, Banff's beauty is unmatched. Picture yourself standing by the turquoise waters of Lake Louise, the reflection of the towering peaks in the water creating a scene of perfect tranquility. For an unforgettable experience, visit Moraine Lake at sunrise. The first light of day illuminating the Ten Peaks is a sight you'll cherish forever. For the best experience, try to visit Banff National Park in September when the fall colors are at their peak and the summer crowds have thinned. Queenstown is not just the adventure capital of the world, it's also a paradise for nature lovers. Whether you visit in winter for skiing or summer for hiking and lake activities, Queenstown never disappoints. Picture the snow-capped remarkables in winter, or the glistening waters of Lake Wakatipu in summer. Each season offers a unique perspective of this stunning city. And while you're there, don't forget to explore Milford Sound, a day trip that will take you through some of the most dramatic and or inspiring landscapes on Earth. Queenstown is home to the world's first commercial bungee jump, located at the Kawarau Bridge, where you can leap 43 meters above the river. Kyoto is a city where history and nature harmoniously blend. Spring, with its cherry blossoms, or autumn, with its vibrant fall colors, is the best time to explore Kyoto's serene beauty. Picture yourself walking through the Arashiyama bamboo grove, where the gentle rustling of bamboo leaves creates a symphony of tranquility. And during cherry blossom season, the city turns into a pink wonderland. Maruyama Park is the perfect spot to take it all in. For a different view, a boat ride along the Hozu River offers a peaceful escape into Kyoto's natural world. For the best cherry blossom views, plan your visit in early April, but be prepared for crowds, as this is the most popular time of year. Cape Town, with its stunning coastal vistas and dramatic landscapes, is best enjoyed in the late summer, from February to March. During this time, the weather is warm, the skies are clear, and the views from Table Mountain are absolutely breathtaking. Picture yourself standing at the edge of Cape Point, the ocean stretching out before you, or basking in the sun on one of Cape Town's beautiful beaches. For a truly unforgettable experience, take the cable car up Table Mountain, or if you're feeling adventurous, hike your way up for an even more rewarding view. Don't forget to pack sunscreen and a windbreaker. Cape Town can be both sunny and windy, especially near the coast. Nestled between the Pacific Ocean and the Coast Mountains, Vancouver is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. The best time to experience its natural beauty is during spring and summer when the weather is mild and the city's lush greenery is in full bloom. Imagine yourself hiking through Stanley Park or skiing on Grouse Mountain with the crisp ocean breeze guiding your way. And if you're up for a little thrill, don't miss the Capilano Suspension Bridge, a walk above the treetops that you won't soon forget. 
Did you know that Vancouver has one of the mildest climates in Canada? This makes it possible to ski in the morning and kayak in the ocean by the afternoon. That wraps up our list of the top 12 cities for nature lovers across the continents. Whether you're seeking adventure or tranquility, these cities offer the perfect escape into nature. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more travel inspiration. See you in the next video.